Liberty and Southern Miss. Four overtimes, 29 to 27. Hugh Freeze gets the win here. Ah, let's look at the stats. Southern Miss had more yards per play. Uh, they had more turnovers, and that was the difference in the ball game. They had eight less third down tries. Liberty had a 40% third down success rate, or not success rate, but a conversion rate on 20 attempts to a 25% on 12 attempts. Uh, I like Will Hall, the coach at Southern Miss. I like him a lot. I think he's really innovative. Uh, I think he's a great coach. Liberty had a 7% post-game win expectancy in this game. And I the field position, like Southern Miss started drives on their own 37. They had one defensive touchdown. Uh, they like The points per scoring opportunity was bananas. But that Southern Miss quarterback went out with a concussion. Now, it, anybody that paid attention to this team last year would know that they had issues last year with quarterback position and ended up having to play Frank Gore at quarterback. And Frank Gore Jr. is a running back. And yet, here we are. Uh, <laughs> we're doing the same thing because uh, Keyes went out with a concussion. And, of course, it's not like he was great. I mean, he had eight pass attempts. He completed four of them, and he completed two of them to the other team. So he had... Two interceptions there, but uh, but Lowe comes in and on his first pass throws a pick, and then they yank him. Will Hall takes him out, and Frank Gore Jr. comes in as the dude. Look at I mean, thirty two carries for one hundred and seventy eight yards and two touchdowns. Like he was the driving factor behind this team actually having a chance to win this game. Uh, Charlie Brewer went out uh, with an injury. And and had his arm in the sling, so I see Salt at the Earth jumped in Brewer time in uh, in Liberty, um, yeah, like Salter was was pretty good. Bennett not so good. Bennett had two interceptions for them. Like both of these teams played three guys under center. I mean, just ridiculous. Uh, big outs. Did Frank Gore retire? I don't know, but uh, but I know his son is playing for Southern Miss and is basically the star guy. So this was an interesting, interesting game. Uh, I mean, you see the two-point conversion try that that failed in the fourth overtime. Like, how how nuts is this? Both of these teams missed field goals in the first overtime. Like, they get two overtime, and they can't hit the field goal. And then, of course, you're doing the back and forth, and yeah, it it was it was rough if you're a Southern Miss fan. I will tell you that. But uh, but overall, like a fun ball game. I enjoyed watching this. Uh, I did have a little wager on on Southern Miss plus three and a half that it ended up hitting, so that was good. But overall, I, I think it's going to be a little while for Southern Miss to get back. Uh, Liberty does not look nearly as good without Malik Willis for sure. Uh, but I trust Hugh Freeze to be able to figure that thing out. Like again, Liberty just finding ways to win. It's uh, it's really confusing. Oh, by the way, the win probability. This is another one of those uh, super exciting games, right? You can see up here the game excitement index. They got a 10.65 up there. And, uh, you know, it just went back and forth over and over. You you see the line there, which I, I'm sure you can see it flashing on the screen if you're actually watching on YouTube. Uh, if you're not, if you're listening on the podcast, thank you. Uh, go subscribe to YouTube as well. That way you can actually see this. But it just went back and forth, back and forth. And that win probability is what makes the, the game excitement index shoot through the roof, right? The expected points added here, um, you could see just it, when when Brewer went out, I mean, it just tanked for Liberty. And it was kind of the same thing for Southern Miss. Like, when, when they did not have a quarterback, it was rough. Uh, success rate on this, by the way, Southern Miss 48% to 41% for Liberty. You know, yards per play, Southern Miss 5.72 to 5.22. They, there, were, there were ways that Southern Miss could have won this ballgame. There were ways. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.